I got my first drone ticket yesterday. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? On my way to work in 70 degree weather with rain, which is good because we need rain. Should be picking up some parts tonight for the golf cart, the old easy go there. A place where I know that there might be a little motor there action for it. We'll grab that and see what we can't do with that. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that, because why wouldn't you? Had some t-shirts delivered on the weekend to my work when we're closed. So I'll let you leave a comment down below and let me, you can let me know how you think that played out. Yeah, I come to work on Monday or Tuesday with an empty box and outside with 18 shirts gone. So called Amazon, they're resending me the shirts, but now I gotta wait until June 1st for shirts. And here I would have had them yesterday. But they say, no, no, we wouldn't do that. According to the tracking number on the box, it sure did. Just saying. On the empty box. Got a ticket last night from CN Police for flying the drone too close to a train. They claim they own the airspace too, but as long as you're 300 meters up, they say you should be fine to go over the tracks. Meanwhile, as a drone pilot, you can't fly any higher than 120 meters. If you know how to figure that one out, you can let me know below. I guess I can't fly my drone 120 meters and fly it over to my buddy's house across the tracks. Just saying. It's all good though. Great guy. We had a good chat. Thanks for coming out. So if you're if you're a pilot and you're flying around trains and you want to get the view and the good the good footage, you know, the the footage that is beautiful, close up and great, don't do it. Just stay back and get a shot of it coming across the field or something. Then you'll be fine. It's just a fair warning to you. I'm not one of those guys that are gonna fight anything and hey, like I said, he was a great guy. We had a good chat. It is what it is. Move on. So I'm just waiting now. I'm just waiting to see how long it takes for the, the Coast Guard to come see me now for my ship videos on the ship channel there. Because I'm sure that's that's gonna happen to you. If I wasn't careful, I wouldn't change an arm because a ball was burned out. That's for damn sure. What else can I freaking tell you today? I'm full of freaking great nothings. You got a sub for lunch. It's a good one too. Eh? Just one, normally you eat two of them things, you know, a sub. A sub's normally two pieces of freaking bread about double that size. So I'm on kind of a diet too. You'd never fucking know it. Some days you just want to quit YouTube. I'll tell you right now, you spend so much time, so much effort, and so much, so much. And it's not even freaking worth it sometimes. The only thing that keeps me here is you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd just be doing videos that I watch only of stuff. I've been doing YouTube now for quite a while, as you know. And it's cost me more money to do YouTube videos than I've friggin' made by a long shot. Let me tell you what. I'm having a rough morning if you're not, you know, kind of figuring that out right now. Kind of a, kind of a ranty kind of morning. You tell it how it is. As if you don't know by now, I'll tell you one thing about me. I am not book smart. I don't have a f***ing clue when it comes to the deep down politics, the rights or wrongs. I'm not one of those guys that fall into this politic thing. I don't care about them people. I think there's too many laws in this world right now and too many people trying to control people. I don't think it's right, but I'm not going to fight it because nobody else does and the few people that do don't get anywhere because there's not enough of them that do anything with it. So I don't fight it. I just go with my life and do what I can of what I think I need. If any of you want to comment down in the bottom below and tell me I'm stupid and whatnot and this and that and the other thing, go right ahead because I am. I ain't fucking book smart. I know how to fix shit and I know how to do stuff and I'm a hands-on guy, I'm not a book guy. I even have a hard time talking as you can tell. So if you're a kid and you're watching this, stay in school or you end up like me. I only have a grade nine education, peoples. I'm a glass technician. I don't need an education to be a glass technician. I put windshields in cars, I fix things, I'm mechanically inclined, and that's all I am. For me to be a, a real businessman is not happening for me because I'm not that good at that kind of shit. Sure, there could be other things I'm doing on YouTube that would grow my growth and make it better and make me more money, but I'm not smart enough to do that kind of stuff, okay? I'm not book smart. So, that's the way she is. Leave a comment down below if you're the same way I am. Because there's tons of people out there like us. I feel sorry for the younger generation. 
either go to school and you become book smart or you're pretty much euchred and for us to find somebody that actually wants to do my trade because I am getting wore out I am 48 years old so I can't keep slugging transport truck windshields climbing ladders and everything else forever so for me to find a young guy to train to do my job is almost impossible because they want to make the big bucks and do as less as possible when I was with Speedy I was a manager at Speedy. Don't ask me how I got there. I have no idea. You know, I, I guess I did all right, but I was there and I was a manager for, I don't know, three years, then finally decided I don't want to do this anymore. So that's when I come to Sarnia. But I went through six guys before I found a guy that was good. And then I found one more guy that was good enough to keep. And then they took them both from me and put them in different stores. And they were older gentlemen. They were like, it's the way this world goes. So for all you young kids that are watching this video, my God, stay in school and my God, Please, please, really consider what you want to do for a living. Because as you get older, you wear out. Bottom line. This video is kind of dicked over, eh? It's kind of a depressing video. I don't mean it to be depressed by all freaking means. I'm just saying, this is how life is. This is what people do in life. You guys, and this, right here, is the only thing I love to do, really. I like my job, I don't love my job. I love doing what we're doing right now. That's why I keep doing it, no matter what it pays. And if CN thinks I'm gonna stop doing drone videos and stuff with trains, I'm not gonna stop doing that either. I'm just gonna be more cautious. I chatted last night with the officer and we both, you know, he agreed. We don't need to stop. Don't let something negative turn you off because if you do that, you're a quitter. And I've been doing YouTube for a long time, not getting much money and I'm not a quitter as you can see, and I ain't gonna quit. YouTube is here to stay until I can't walk anymore. I'm fucking dead. I'll tell you that right now. And I love you fucking guys. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And you know what to do for now.